hello students welcome to saran's biology we are dealing with chapter number 6 molecular basis of inheritance we are moving ahead in the section of experiments where the nature of genetic material was pursued it all started with griffith's experiment of transformation then every mccarty and macleod did biochemical characterization to ensure that dna is genetic material but the final proof came through the work of hersier and chase their work was unparalleled and they sealed all questions all the doubts so let us find out what was the experimental design and how did it work so it is also called as blender's experiment the pair of hersey and chase the guide and the teacher alfred hersey and martha chase in 1952 they worked on bacteriophage so what is bacteriophage the virus that infects bacteria and uh, as you know you have read in class 11th that viruses are having either dna or rna as genetic material and they have got a protein coat so hersey and chase Use bacteriophage T2, which is a DNA virus. They labeled the two parts of viruses differentially using radioisotope, which we can identify. And they conducted the two experiment. So, what is the basic idea? The basic idea is protein contains sulfur. That's why protein was labeled as radioactive sulfur. Right? But they did not label it the protein with phosphorus. So. phosphorus is an integral part of dna right phosphor diester bonds hai so dna ko label kiya gaya phosphorus 32 se iska matlab agar phosphorus radio labeled hai so that will be found in the dna whereas protein coat mein radioactivity hai so that is only possible if sulfur is there in the protein coat So, क्या क्या गया इस एक्सपेरिमेंट में इस डायग्राम को थोड़ा ध्यान से समझने की कोशिश कीजिए पहले एक्सपेरिमेंट में जहां प्रोटीन कोट रेडियो लेबल थे यू सी हियर आउट प्रोटीन कोट रेडियो लेबल सो दीज वायरसेस वी आर अलाउड टू इन्फेक्ट द बैक्टीरिया फिर उसे ब्लेंड करने के बाद एजिटेट करने के बाद सेंट्रफ्यूज uh, किया गया तो आप देखेंगे सेंट्रफ्यूजेशन का प्रिंसिपल क्या होता है किसी फ्लूड को रोटेट करेंगे एट हाई स्पीड तो हेवियर पार्टिकल विल सेटल डाउन तो ऑब्वियसली द बैक्टीरिया विल बी हेवियर वायरस विल बी लाइटर तो यहां देखा गया कि वायरस तो नीचे ऊपर होगा और बैक्टीरिया नीचे होगा तो रेडियो एक्टिविटी इस बैक्टीरिया में नहीं दिखाई दिया इसका मतलब क्या था प्रोटीन डिड नॉट एंटर द बैक्टीरिया राइट बट इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट वेयर द डीएनए वॉज रेडियो एक्टिव लेवल यू सी हेर आउट सेम इन्फेक्शन वॉज अलाउड and then again it was agitated and then centrifugation took place aur fir wahi sthiti aayi hogi the bacteria was at the bottom ab dekha gaya bacterial cell has got radioactivity yani dna has entered from virus to bacteria to isse bahut aasani se conclude kar sakte hain ki the genetic material happens to be the dna and not the protein aaiye इस एक्सपेरिमेंट को एक बार वापस से रिविजिट करते हैं प्रोटीन कोट ऑफ फेजेस आर रेडियो लेबल्ड सो हियर यू सी प्रोटीन कोट रेडियो लेबल्ड है इन्फेक्ट किया गया अगेन सेंट्रिफिकेशन के बाद देखा गया कि बैक्टीरियल सेल में कोई रेडियो एक्टिविटी नहीं है सो व्हाट इज द कंक्लूजन कंक्लूजन इज दैट दिस कोट डिड नॉट एंटर द बैक्टीरियल सेल राइट और वायरस की लाइफ साइकिल से पता है कि इट पुशेज द जेनेटिक मटीरियल इन साइड द होस्ट सेकेंड केस में रेडियो एक्टिविटी इज कॉन्फर्ड टू डीएनए हाउ बाय प्रोवाइडिंग रेडियो लेबल्ड फॉस्फोरस इज इट नॉट एंड देन व्हेन दे आर अलाउड टू इन्फेक्ट द बैक्टीरिया नाउ ऑन सेंट्रिफिकेशन बैक्टीरियल सेल में देखा गया कि रेडियो एक्टिविटी है इसका मतलब है कि सम हाउ दिस डीएनए हैज बीन ट्रांसफर टू द बैक्टीरियल सेल राइट 
सो अगर आप इस एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिजाइन को टैबुलेट करें चॉकआउट करें तो बहुत सिंपली आप कंक्लूड कर पाएंगे डीएनए कंटेन्स फॉस्फेट बट नॉट सल्फर वेर एज प्रोटीन कंटेन्स सल्फर बट नो फॉस्फेट सो वायरस इज ग्रोन ऑन मीडियम कंटेनिंग आइसोटोप ऑफ फॉस्फोरस and they will have what they will have dna they will have dna as radioactive when they are allowed to infect bacteria then on centrifugation it was found that radioactive phosphate was found in bacterial pellets so it suggests transfer of dna from virus to bacteria on the other hand when the viruses that were grown on medium containing sulfur 35 that is an isotope uh, isotope of sulfur so the protein coat is radioactive when these viruses infected the bacteria the bacteria on centrifugation did not show any trace of radioactivity that suggest these protein were not able to enter the bacteria so protein cannot be genetic material right there's a classical uh, diagram that is present in your textbook you can see here out the red color shows radioactivity radioactive sulfur 35 level protein capsule right on infection so there are three stages infection first they were allowed to infect infection ho gaya uske baad you have to remove detach these particles taki aap unhe centrifuge kar sake so you do it by blending agitation in a blender or then you carry out centrifugation and this centrifugation resulted kyunki jab centrifugation hoga to you can see here out heavier particle will be found at the bottom to aap is bacterial cell ko expect kar sakte hain to be seen in the bottom and these viral particles will be seen in the top to yahan koi radioactivity dikhai nahi thi kyun nahi dikhai di because these radioactive protein coat were left outside they did not move but in the second case where radioactive phosphorus labeled dna the virus when infected the bacteria blended and then centrifuged it was found that the bottom the So after centrifugation, the sediment contained radioactivity, which suggests that this DNA has been pushed or transferred in this bacteria. So this gives an important conclusion and put an end to all discussion about the nature of genetic material. And we conclude from this that it is the DNA which acts as genetic material, not the protein so i'm very sure this experiment is very very clear to all of you so keep on reading and this important experiment is generally asked in the examination so the experimental design how it was conducted and what is the outcome that is important now in the coming video we'll be talking about the properties of genetic material or even we can sum it here also that what can be the properties of genetic material so we had two three candidates dna rna and protein right dna can replicate yes rna can replicate yes protein cannot chemical and structural stability dna is more stable chemically and structurally whereas rna has got additional oh group as well as uracil so it is more of labile and reactive protein stable but when they are destroyed by heat dna is mutable slowly rna very fast and you must wonder now this covid 19 this rna virus so mutation rate is very very fast and that is posing a challenge for mankind protein there is no question express as mendelian character yes dna can rna can directly code for the synthesis of protein and hence it can easily express it the as itself as the character but it is not in case of protein so we can conclude here out that both rna and dna can function as genetic material but dna being more stable is preferred for storage of genetic information whereas for transmission of genetic information rna is better form 
So with this, we come to the end of this part. In the next part, we'll be talking about some more important processes. We'll be talking about the genetic code. We'll be also talking about the mechanism of replication, transcription, and translation. Till then, happy reading. Take care. Students, keep ahead of your friend by subscribing the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified if there is a new video coming your way.